So just here with uh, Peter Madden doing an interview in his studio. Thanks for having me. No, Bruce went to art school wanting to be a painter, but uh, oh, okay. that didn't really work out for me. You know, I just didn't find it um, as exciting as making sculpture, which was about the real world. You know, yeah. uh, an object was undeniably like this thing that's in the real world. It wasn't about illusion or anything like that. Yeah. So and. That's where I got my undergrad, but coming to college was, was a really strange kind of thing. I uh, ended up, which I think is important for anybody, is to leave New Zealand for a little bit. And I went to New York and looked around there. And, and it's awesome. All museums and... Yeah, museums, MoMA, uh, retrospective of Hannah Hock, who's like a... She was a Dada photo montage artist, one of the first collage artists. And I was like blown away. I was at MoMA just thought, you know, like this chick really was really onto it. Yeah, I just, it just, I suppose, influence or it said, here's a possibility. Yeah. A possibility to do something that um, I could get involved with. And it, it wasn't until a little bit later on I figured out that, you know, it has a real sustainability to it. You know, I didn't need to be plowing all my bucks into sculpture materials. Yeah. And I could buy a box of magazines for 20 bucks. Just from the old shop? Yeah, just, and, yeah. and make, make artworks. Yeah. Really. I mean, you know, I, I mean, this, this look, this one here has that kind of ethos as well, because these are like uh, a pair of five dollar shoes I brought from the op shop, and these twigs are from my backyard. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put like, uh, I'm gonna put these leaves, these paper leaves that I cut out. So there's a, but the paper leaves is, has a nice kind of circularity as well, because yeah. they, they were once upon a time wood. Yeah. So I had the idea, mm. and I drew. It's not going to go on a book. I, you know, I'm tossing that out. That's a dumb idea. But still, the shoes with the tree. So you reckon the book makes it too literal, like too, too, too literal, too. It just doesn't work. It yeah. just all of a sudden became. I mean, I drew it, but that's because that's what I had in my mind. But I think now, no, nah, it'll just be the shoes on mm. the ground. And there are still qualities in there that are. Uh, quite emergent, that is to say, you know, I'm building it up and fleshing it and looking at it and think, wow, you know, it has a really nice strong kind of leggy kind of neck thing and I'm, mm. I'm trying to bring up all of the little bits and pieces now up through the centre so I get a, I'm going to get a real kind of a tree-like thing going on. Mm. But it won't be one, just one kind of tree because these are all leaves from trees from around the world. I feel better when I cut stuff out. Oh, right? definitely. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a sort of therapy. Yeah. And um, so, which is a really complex relationship I have to the idea of cutting bits and pieces out and the way they're associated to kinds of knowledge. You know, like the National Geographic, say this, uh, this, this magazine is supposed to be representative of knowledge of the world. So I really, I really enjoy cutting that. I mean, that one there that you're looking at now um, is called Post Disaster. So that the, uh, and you're gonna leave the that, space. That, yeah, that space is left like that because it's um, the idea is that the collage itself looks like it's fallen off. Yeah. So that the work itself has been um, has had the operation of a disaster on it. Mm. You know, so that instead of um, looking like an artwork, it's kind of got it's something fucked has happened and it's all fallen off the top bit. So, it, and, and I was really influenced by the tsunamis and the earthquakes and all sort of stuff, yeah. and all of that kind of well, furniture also ha is like a shadow of a house because mm, it's the thing that yeah. goes inside yeah, it. Yeah, it's all out. It's yeah, no so, and, the, and also, um, more so than a house, it's uh, a framing device for the human body. Mm. So, what's in, whenever, you, whenever I see a chair, I perceive a missing person. Mm. So, there's something of that that hides in that work as well. Sometimes, I think, works can be a little bit like a riddle. So yeah. people get involved in it, but they don't figure it out straight away. I think you take an artwork away with you in your mind. 
and then later on you um, have a different relationship to it because you're not there anymore. These are for the same show that's going down to Wellington. Oh, okay. Um, so everything that you're looking at right now is real fresh. I mean, you know, a couple of months old. Uh, these, these ones are like sort of portraits of the many in the one. So they have a kind of human-like presence. You can see all the eyes and the mouths and it has like a head and neck and a shoulder thing. Yeah. But it's also like bursting forth with, with nature. The only things I've, I've really killed to make artworks would be flies. D yeah, 24 karat gold leaf. Oh wow. On that fly. I often talk to people about how um, how much there is this important thing to be desperate. You know, you're desperate, mm. a desperate individual. So there's a lot of struggle, and you've you've you know there's there's um, I'm not saying that there's depression or self-loathing, but I don't think it comes easy. I don't think the work should come. It should look easy, but I don't think it comes easy. Mm. You, the reason you make it look easy is so that people can become involved in the work for me. That's how you... But I wouldn't prescribe that for every artist. That's just yeah. that's just my reason. Because, I mean, as soon as art starts to look like each other's, then I think we get into some, we get into some problematic areas. That is that people are just m making it for how they think other people should, you know, see it. Mm. And, and I think art has been a bit like that in the past, but now oh, it's definitely. like it's really open and different. Yeah. You know, your your idea as a younger artist is to find your reasons for making the artwork. Yeah.